everyone, it's Professor Active Games Stuck. I'm here, and today is going to be my first day of group acting classes with some other kids. Uh, the age range is 10 to 13, so they should all be around my age. I'm really excited about that um, to meet some more people my age who are also doing acting and stuff like that. Also, apparently, I get a folder if I join the class, so that's cool. But yeah, I'm really excited to try it out, and I'll tell you what happens when we get back. Okay, so we're back. We're in the car on the way home now. That was actually really, really fun. I had a great time. I met quite a few really cool people, but I'm not going to say the names of for safety reasons. How about how many people? Like 10, 12 people? It seems like there were a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, I think there were about 12 people. There were 10 people in the class. Okay. I remember we're that. legitimately in LA traffic. Yes. Right now. I'm not going to shut up. Yeah, that's fine. Help. The 405. Welcome to the weekend 405. Uh, I walked in and there were a bunch of people already there that seemed to kind of know each other. So I sat down and I went over, I got a folder, a fancy folder. Fancy. So I went over some of the stuff in my folder and then we were called in to go sit down and get ready for class. And then we talked about video games for a little bit. Um, well, I eavesdropped on people sitting next to me talking about video games and then the class started. And we um, got in a circle and we did warm ups, which were relatively straightforward, like roll your neck make some weird noises, and do some tongue twisters. Be a tree? No. <laughs> you haven't had to be a tree yet. No, I have not. Okay. And then we did, um, we were given scenes. So I took, me and my scene partner, went, we were the first to be assigned a scene, oddly enough. So we went out in the hallway and we practiced our scene for a little bit. And what kind of feedback did you get? Um, you know, listen, um, I looked down at my script way too often, and I kind of held it in front of my face, so I was told to stop doing that and hold it towards the ground as well as I need to work more on having all of us kind of got a really similar vest, like having our characters have more dimension than just saying the lines, like having a backstory, having stuff, which we're supposed to make up, that's our homework. Group class is so far positive. Yes, group class is so far positive, it was really fun. Got a fashion show that you're going to do. Oh yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, I'll see you then then. Okay, so before we actually went to acting class, we went to a really cool vintage store in Santa Monica called Wasteland and we got quite a few really cool things there, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, the first one is this sweater, which I really like. It reminds me of Coraline, this room, and these jeans I already have, they're from Forever 21. And uh, this sweater reminds me of Coraline, which is one of my favorite movies ever. It's really, really good and I'm excited to wear something that reminds me of Coraline. But yeah, these are really cool. Um, I'm actually getting my headshots taken and this weekend soon-ish, I'm not quite sure when. Um, so I need you guys' opinion on which of these things I'm going to show you I should wear to my headshots and which I should just wear to like an event or do an outfit of the day on or something like that. Second is this really cool t-shirt which I really love. I think it will go with a lot of stuff that I have and I just think it looks super duper cool. As well as it's really comfy, it's a really nice kind of t-shirt fabric. It's not a kind of fabric that I really don't like that makes me itchy or uncomfortable. This is actually really comfortable and I probably wear it around. Okay, so here is the third thing which is this really, really cool um, blue flannel. It's like actually almost transparent though, so I'm wearing um, a tank top underneath it. But I really like the color of it and I think it will be really good for headshots because of the color. It's apparently supposed to go with my eyes. I'm not sure I haven't seen it yet. Um, but I really, really like this one. Yeah, Mike could use an iron yes. as it yeah. stands right now. And it's not really a flannel. Well, it's like a hook shirt. Yeah, shirt. It doesn't. Flannel doesn't equal shirt. Okay, so the next one is this really cool Bohemian style purple one, which I really like. I feel like it actually looks almost exactly like this, but it's not Bohemian style. But this is really, really cool. I'm wearing it. Think about it as well again. And I don't know, I think it's really cute. Uh, I don't think it's good for headshots just because it has, it's, has many patterns and it's very distracting. But I do really like it as a whole. Okay, so the last shirt is this really cool flowy red and blue and yellow and black and many colors one. Most primarily red. And I really like it. It's so swooshy. I'm a borb. I really like that one. It's very squishy. It reminds me of the American Girl. I have uh, Isabel, I think. I don't know. I haven't looked at the American Girl in like forever. But I'm pretty sure it's Isabel, the one that wore stuff like this in the 70s. Woo! <laughs> it's so squishy. It's also very comfortable. Okay, so this one and the last one are actually from The Gap. I forgot to say it last time. 
But yeah, these are both from Gap, and I really love this one. It's a really swooshy and pretty dress. It's a black and white big sleeve, and I really love it. It's really cool, and it has this little strap. Which I, not a strap, belt. Yes, I know what I'm saying. Okay, so this is the last one, which is actually my mom's, but I decided to steal it because I liked it. And it is this really cool uh, green, flowery, 50s housewife dress. And it looks like someone like actually made this. Like this is kind of made this is from a brand or anything. There's like no tags in it or anything. And I really, really like it. And it reminds me of Fallout 4, and that's why it was part of why I really like it. Okay, so that's it for today. Let me know in the comments below which outfit you like, as well as press the subscribe button for more videos like this if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.